Right, so here are two of my favourite minerals, azurite and malachite, and these are copper carbonates, and they're often found together, and azurite is always blue, and the malachite, as you can see associated with it here, is always green. And the uh, azurite usually forms these, these, these crystals, beautiful crystals here, and malachite is, is more rare to form crystals, it's more frequently found as sort of botryoidal masses, and we'll see some of those in a moment. Um, so here we have a uh, beautiful azurite crystal from Sumeb in South West Africa. Uh, that's, uh, well, South West Africa is what it's labelled here, so now we know it as Namibia. Great crystal formation. Beautiful. And this one here as well. Mm -hmm. So these crystals probably came out in the 1920s. Uh, this particular, uh, the finds around that sort of time were, were very well known. Mm -hmm. uh, that would be about the right timing for it to come to the museum. Mm -hmm. So nearly, nearly 100 years ago. So azurite, again, is quite a common mineral. It's found all around the world. Um, but um, it's often associated with, with desert conditions. Places with deserts uh, and dry areas tend to um, form azurite better than others, or at least to, to preserve it better than others. Mm -hmm. And if we just quickly run across to the other side of it. If we can find its friend. Here is the malachite. So here is, here is your classic pattern of the way that malachite forms these botryoidal uh, sort of aggregates. Here is a lovely piece from Cornwall. It's a beautiful piece, I like that one. Mm -hmm. Now, the most famous uh, malachites were from Russia, from the Urals. Mm -hmm. And here is uh, an ex good example and it was well known in the 1700s, it was mined, it was much adored by the Tsars and in St. Petersburg, uh, in the uh, Hermitage, they created a malachite room mm -hmm. where uh, everything is, is made out of the, the, the statues, the, everything is made out of malachite, it's a beautiful room. Mm -hmm. But there's very little malachite left in the Urals now, it's almost all gone. Mm.